Why do trains get short blackouts? You are on a train one day and the whole train goes black. The air conditioning stops, everything somewhat quiets down for a bit, and the train slows down to running on momentum alone. Then, after a few seconds, the electricity is back, the air conditioning is back, the noise picks up and the train begins to accelerate. Why is that? In this video, we will answer that question and more. First, we look at how a train gets their power. This is a train, an electric train. How would you know? The top part right here. These are some electrical lines and this thing is called a pantograph. Yes, I searched for it. The springy device that is designed to keep the train in contact with the energized wire above it. Not these trains, okay? These are steam engine trains. They need to burn stuff for the train to move. We are talking about the trains that Dear Leader uses. Electric trains. But for electricity to flow, you will need a life and a neutral to complete the circuit. The wire on top is much different from a wall plug where you can just plug it in and life is good. You need to form a circuit in order for electricity to flow. And I'm going to connect this thin wire to it and you can see how the wire melts and burns under And in this setup, the hot life wire is hung from above where it is far away from people so that they are safe. And the neutral or ground point is the metal railway itself actually. Since the neutral or the ground has no voltage potential, people can walk on it, touch it, and do things to it and not be in any danger. All the voltage potential is in the overhanging wire which is too high up for people to bump into. It actually functions on the same exact principles as a bumper car. Yes, there's a reason why bumper cars ride around on a metal floor. The live wire, or the voltage potential in this case, is the ceiling netting above, which the bumper car connects to with these spring-loaded brushes. That's why it's high and far away from people riding it. But the electric circuit is not complete, since the bumper car has rubber wheels, which does not conduct any electricity, unlike the electric train that has metal wheels on metal tracks. So, to complete the circuit, you have to attach a metal strap under the bumper car to make contact to the metal floor or neutral. This completes the circuit, and if you remove the strap or lift the bumper car off the ground, it would just stop functioning altogether. So basically, I just explained the whole working principles of electric trains and bumper cars, and how closely related they are. Funny to think that one is used for public transport and the other is used for carnival games. Why does one cost way more than the other? Well, now that that is out of the way, why do trains black out when it reaches a certain area and then re-energizes shortly afterwards? Bumper car doesn't have this. That's because bumper cars operate in a small area. Trains need to cover a much larger distance. When you move from one area to another, your cell phone coverage signal drops until it switches to another cell tower to service you. This is the key point. You are now in a new area and you are serviced by another cell tower. That is why you will get random SMS about stuff when you do go out and you get no text when you stay at home all day. They see that you have pinged in a different tower and different location and so you must be an active user and not just a dead sim card lying around somewhere. For trains, it runs on a similar concept. The trains move into a new service network similar to when your vacuum cleaner has reached the limit and you need to stop, unplug and then find a new service plug to plug in. Cell phones can do seamless transitions most of the time because Hey, what the f***? This is a train video, f*** cell phones. For a train to transition from one service network to another, it needs to fully disconnect itself from a previous electrical life source into a neutral area first. The neutral area has no electric charge. That's why most electric stuff on a train goes to sleep for a while. Momentum will carry the train from the neutral zone to a new service area, like a new wall plug, a new cell tower. Yeah, you get the idea. Then everything normalizes and then the train gets the speed back. It could very well be that the new service zone gets its electricity from a different part of the power network altogether and it's much closer to a different energy source. But some questions, why do trains need the neutral zone? Why can't a train be like cell towers where it just overlaps the service area? What if the train stops in the neutral zone? Great questions. The neutral zones are a relatively short distance, so it's a low probability. They designed this zone to be short, so there's little chance of the trains getting stuck in there. Like if they design a neutral zone on an upward slope, and a train might get slowed down enough to be brought to a stop before it can get to the new electrical zone, 
then someone needs to get fired. You're fired. Get out of here. I don't know what to say, man. In, in mature designs, it would take a miracle for trains to get stuck in this neutral zone and not get any supply to continue moving. Then next, some kid out there may be asking this one particular question and it goes like, why don't we connect the edge of each supply network together and get rid of the neutral zone altogether? Which is a really good question, actually. Honestly, I can only speculate and give good guesses at this moment. I may be a certified professional engineer, but I'm still pretty young. If there are any electrical train experts watching this video, yeah, please drop some wisdom on us. We, we would welcome that. Okay, my first guess would be power losses. Trains that operate in AC voltage typically run in the medium voltage region. You can tell by the amount of silicon insulators that the line has. Each silicon disc typically is rated to insulate 11 kV of voltage. You stack them up and you get stronger insulation. Double digit KVs are in the medium voltage range. And if you are to supply the whole track with medium voltage, the distance would be pretty substantial. It could be more economical to transmit in high voltage to reduce losses and then distribute the power in medium voltage for the trains. My second guess would be from a protection point of view. If the line above the train spans the whole track like one long bus bar with multiple substations feeding into it, there is no protection discrimination when an electrical fault happens. Like, you don't know where the fault is. One face to ground fault and the whole line is tripped off and goes into outage. And since nobody knows where the fault location is, people would have to search and clear the fault first before re-energizing the line. This is the putting too many eggs into one basket principle. And the most unlikely one is that if the whole supply is joined together, one train that is nearest to the supply substation may suck up all the current and leave nothing for the rest of the trains in front or behind it. Though this is pretty unlikely as the trains will be designed in a way for this to not happen. But my best guess wouldn't be a train reason since I'm not really a train guy, I'm more of a power systems guy. I believe that it is due to a power system reason. If the length of the line is connected all the way through and supported by multiple substations upstream, it can come to a case where certain upstream outages occurs and this may trigger power flow to come from substation A to the train lines and come back up to another supply substation, substation B creating a reverse power flow when trying to supply the other users at substation B actually. The problem here is that the train lines are only designed to carry current that caters for the train only, and not for the other local customer supply and the train. But yeah, everyone take your guesses until an expert comes along and tell us that the earth is flat. You're watching the Funsi channel. Do, 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 do.